Hey, so let's talk in this tutorial about grouping. When you group something, you put a protective wrapper around it so that it cannot be accidentally changed unless you decide to go in and do that. So let me, let me show you what I mean and how you can use this in different ways. Over here, we have some objects, right? Got a, a box, a conical looking funky thing I made a while ago. It could be anything, it could be a cylinder, whatever you have in your environment. You can pause this, go create something. If you don't have one, you should have something already. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's assume you wanted to take this and put it in this so that it has a new and interesting form to it because you're really looking to make like a bike stand and you want to be able to put your back tire on there, but you need it to flare out on the sides and you think, oh, well, what if I made a, a conical looking thing like this and then I made it intersect this rectangle? So you could do this. You could grab one, two, three, select this, take the move tool, move this into the box so that it looks something like that. That's kind of cool. So you have these flared out edges, you have these little tips that come out over the top here, and maybe you were gonna cut this away and make it a little different than that. And then you thought, oh wait, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had gone and, and done it a little differently. And had it not looked quite like that, I wish I had adjusted this somewhat. So you go back in and you try to move it by selecting that inside but you can't just select the conical piece anymore. Let me try that again. One, two, three. You can't, it grabs all of it because they're joined together now, they're glued together. If you had grouped it, you could easily take it out and redo it and stick it back in there. But without grouping it, these are stuck together. And I can't move one without moving or manipulating the other at the same time. Okay, so let's undo that and I'll show you how you can control that by grouping it. Let's put a protective wrapper around one of these. Let's slow to respond. Let's put a protective wrapper around this and I'll show you the difference. To group this, you have to select all dimensions of it. So whatever it is, like you could group just the top face of this, this oval, an oval is a shape and shapes are two dimensional, but this entire form is three dimensional. So you take your select tool and go one, two, three. Three clicks relatively close together if you don't move your mouse, one, two, three, will select this entire thing glue. Yes, you could draw a box around it to select it, but sometimes you actually clip things in the background and include it in what you selected. So it's good to just, if you can, one, two, three clicks left clicks with the mouse and it'll select it. While it's blue, right mouse click it and you get this window popping up. It gives you a lot of cut, copy, options, erase and all that. But make group is the option that's gonna put a protective wrapper around this one object. Now, there it is, wrapped in its own invisible wrapper. It's not invisible, I can see it. It's, in, it's You can see it because you selected it. But if I now select the sky or the grass and undo that, you can't tell that it's grouped. That's the beauty of it. But if I take the move tool, and I look to move any of these objects, if they're not grouped, it looks like I'm just moving that face of that object or that corner of that edge. But if it's grouped and I put my mouse over it, it automatically reveals the wrapper that cont contains it. So now I can take this and move the entire thing over here to intersect it similar to what we did before, right? But now, I could go, hmm, I wish I had just slid it over a little bit or something. Okay, so go ahead. You can slide it over ever so slightly because it's grouped. Put that wrapper around it, control your model, have really cool forms that look like they're joined together, but nobody would ever know that they're separately wrapped and put in position with each other. So cool. Grouping gets way more complex. I'll go over some other stuff in the next tutorial. Yoink.